What's poppin' everybody and welcome to another episode of The Maisie Show. Now, before we begin, preferably before we begin, hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Let me know that you are a citizen, a trooper, a real supporter of this channel. In addition, if you can hit the post notification bell, I would greatly appreciate that. Anytime I drop something new, you'll be one of the first to view it. You could tell me yay, nay, whatever. If it's for you, if it's not for you, that's okay. All right, so look, um, you seen the title? I'm sure you seen the thumbnail. Uh, this guy, Swifty Blue, is now dissing on G-Face, right? Now, G-Face is a federal informant. It's in paperwork. It's very clear at this point. Um, that's just him, right? Now, Swifty Blue went out and made it like this, not a diss song, but he brought him up in uh, a, basically a whole like little, like, just in a line, basically saying he a rat. So I'll just let you hear the little the assembly of the music, and we'll talk about it. So that that's just the line or whatever. So here's the deal, right? Uh. Since the first time I really got hip to this guy, I'll be honest, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a big fan. Because, uh, so if you recall his first interview, so he was for number one, like acting super, like basically I am the West Coast type of attitude, right? Uh, now, the first like interview he had that I can remember he was saying like, oh yeah, we ain't finna sign to no blacks. We ain't doing that, right? So then Boulé kept saying, oh yeah, no, that sounds a little racist. I ain't gonna lie. He said, that sounds a lot of racist. He said, it is what it is, politics, blah, 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 right? But not saying you have to sign to somebody that's black. If you want to keep it in your community, that's cool and all that. But the way he said it and knowing he kind of like low key, probably a little right, even though not low key for sure, he is racist, right? But for him to say that, well, number one, you're doing rap music now. Granted, everybody does rap music at this point Asian, white, black, Mexican, Puerto Rican, everybody, right? But let's not forget like who started this. Number one, black people started rap, they started hip hop, right. Now, not saying you got to be black to do it. A lot of people do it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, to try to exclude the black community. And not even saying, if you want to keep it in your community, that's cool. But I'm just saying, like, the way he said it, like, well, I ain't a lot of rub me the wrong way, for sure. I didn't like it. I felt like, this dude, you feel me? That's like me saying, like, oh, you know, I'm going to start me a taco shop, but I don't, don't want to work with no Mexicans. Like, you feel me? Like, nah, that's, they make the best tacos. You feel me? I won't want to hire them. So anyway, so that was my first thing of him. Then, of course, all his videos, they're like, I don't know, man. He just, I'm not saying he's not to, I don't know. I don't know the guy. I'm just saying, I feel like every video he has, he's like always pulling out guns. Like, number one, that that's not a good look. You're just telling on yourself. I've seen multiple videos, like probably like four or five, six. And I trust me, I don't even tap in with this guy. So for me to see it so much, he's doing it a lot. He's always pulling out guns. Um, he's a uh, matter of fact. And then uh, I just his whole style. So then he has he had did something with uh, this dude. He's a southerner from. Um, Northern California from Sacramento. His name is Chito Ranas. Okay. Now, Chito Ranas, he's like a, I don't know, he's, I guess he's a Serrano from up north, right? Well, anyway, that was real cool. And then Chito was saying like he did something weird, whatever. I don't really too much know about that. Um, so I can't say this or that. But I know a lot of people at one point in time was not messing with him and he had like some issues amongst the Hispanics in his community, right? So I don't know if it's his direct community, but somehow his community. So 
there's that, right? Then you did a song. No, 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 no. Let's rewind. Then you you was on camera telling Kanye West to check in with G Face with Yuri Kachi Kachi Khan. You you was on camera whipping out blammers. You and G Face telling Kanye West. First of all, let's just be real. Kanye is so far above you. Why would like? Does that sound like something that he would do? Does that sound like something he would do? Let's just be real. Let's be real. Kanye is a billionaire, bro. When he comes here, he's probably going to fly private in. He's got probably securities that would knock you down. Like, he's not worried. Why would I check in with you when I got, like, 10 security guards with me, all on swole, all with big registered pistols that will knock you down? But I'm worried about you. Check in with what? Let's let's be real. You dig what I'm saying? Come on, man. Let's for real, for real. Let's be real. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, fast forward, right? You making the threats with G Face and him? And already at that time, there was already information of G Face being a rat, a informant. Okay, a, a an informer, someone who assists people in the prosecution of criminals, right? That, that was already out at that time, right? And then when I seen him, I, I was like, who is this dude? I don't even think he, like, that's when I tapped in and it was already out, okay? Uh, and he's, he, rec he introduces him, oh, he got the homie with me from White Fence. Mind you, never in my life, and trust me, I did a lot of research on G-Face. I don't really too much care about Swifty. G-Face, I did a lot of research on this guy, right? I did my homework. Never one time did I ever see him post it up with anybody that saying we are from white fence. Never. Never. So look, not saying he is, I don't know. If they, I'm pretty sure they don't accept him at this point. Uh, with that being the case, right? So you then make a diss song. I don't even remember who you're dissing, but I think it was like some North Angels or something like that. Uh, you you make a diss song for Northaniels that live eight hours away from you, right? If you're in the pen, you're on the yard with these Northaniels, and they, you're not, that's not that, because it would be a big problem. So then, I don't know if it was him. No, it was, what's his name? It was another dude named Lefty Gunplay. Uh, I like Lefty Gunplay a lot better than Swifty Blue. Anyway, but look, so now you're dropping this diss song, Swifty Blue. Now you're dropping this diss song, not a diss song, but a diss bar, or whatever you want to call it, for G-Face. But the information was already out at the time that he's an informant. It was already out at the time. So you got to realize how this makes you look. You're, every video, oh, and then... This is what made me like, come on, bro. This is what made me not like this guy. I mean, I don't really care about him either way. But this right here, I didn't, it made me like, come on, bro. Like, are you serious? So, everybody knows a little go to McDonald's, get the water cup, fill up the soda, right? So, he, he did that, and the lady came and said, hey, you can't do that. He, this is my hood. I'm going to come back. I'll light you up. I, he said something like along the lines, he'll smoke her. So, the lady's trying to do her job. And not to mention you so rich from all your rapping. But what, what, why do you need to take that? And if you get caught, oh, my bad, baby. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? It won't happen. I, it's all good. I dump it out. Instead, you tell the lady you're going to shoot the lady. Like, I, you, you're looking stupid. You're looking dumb. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this guy. And then you tell him, like, some of the stuff you say, you sound dumb. You're telling calling you. You need to check in. You will get stepped on. Bro, Kanye does it. Bro, you're not. Like, that's like telling the president he needs to check in. Hey, president, you need to check in. Bro, don't you know all them uh, secret service will knock you down? You got Kanye West. Why in the world? I'm just saying it sounds so dumb. It's just even saying it out loud. Why in the world will Kanye West, the billionaire, come and check in with you? While he's flying in on private with about five, six, eight, ten security guards 
who are all cock diesel with blamers registered. What what are you gonna do? Why why do I have to check in with you? What what are you gonna do for me? You can't do nothing for me. I think what it was was that I think he got the game a little confused when Kodak Black came in. I think Kodak Black broke him off some racks or something. Some, so probably 10 racks or something like that. And he tapped in with them. He was kicking it with them. Bro, so I'm checking in with you, but you on camera getting marked out. You, you're you getting pressed with some from somebody. I want to say it was 18, one of them 18th Street or somebody calling you all kind of B and this and that. And, and, and you, you know, right? But I got to check in with you. Why am I checking with you? What can you do for me that I can't do for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't beat me up. Honestly, I don't think you could beat Kanye up, if I'm being real. Like, come on, bro. It, it, just what you're saying. And then now you dissing G-Face, which he's a straight rap. No questions about that, right? Um, but, just make go, that was your best friend. That was your big homie from White Fans, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like you all over the place. You, you're, di you, you're not... For one, let's just be honest. Like, I, I, I don't think that you're really like a threat like that. Number one, like, yeah, sure, you got all your face tattoos, looks great, and all that. You getting some money? That's good. I'm happy that you're getting that money. I just don't think that you like a big threat like that. I, I, I think that, um, I think that you kind of like, you kind of like a chihuahua, like, you know, a chihuahua. <laughs> As soon as you go like that, it runs off. And like you know what I'm saying, like that. Like that's kind of how I feel about Swifty Blue. Uh, I, I I just I feel like the, like who who are you type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you tell it was the dumbest thing in the world. You telling Kanye West to check in, the billionaire Kanye flying in on a private jet to Los Angeles. He probably owns a mega mansion that's guarded by like security, armed security, like. Everybody has registered firearms, and I have to check in with you. What are you going to do? You're going to pull up with your little pistol? Bro, they'll knock you down. Bro, they'll blow your fucking socks off. Are you joking? Come on, bro. Like, just be real. That's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes I feel like people just live in this fairy tale land. You will get stepped on. Bro, okay. Tell me, Swift Blue. What's your big plan? How are you going to step step on Kanye West? Tell me. What are you going to do? You have a private jet? You're going to chase his private jet down and have all your homies? Come, come on. Let's be real, bro. It's not on you. Y'all not like this. Check in where? You and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Eastside Paramount somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Bro, Kanye West is nowhere in them areas. He's in a night. He's tucked off in a gated community. Like, Check in with you. You will get stepped on. And then you got G. And then you almost feel like the guy G Face put a little battery in your back to do that. Because you got to remember, G Face is a federal informant, right? So, with that being the case, like, I almost feel like he was trying to, like, incite something. And then maybe, who, maybe he knew Swifty Blue would crash out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just say overall. With the performance of Swifty Blue, his theatrical performance, all the videos, all this, all that. Check in, so you about check in. Huh, huh, look, I got guns. Huh, you about check in. Can't land. Like, but nobody. I mean, I don't know if anybody else. I'm not. I'm not convinced. You know what I'm saying? I'm not convinced. Uh. And some of the, yeah, you got a brain, bro. Use it. I, I think you have a brain. You know what I'm saying? Use it. Like. Dude had been an informant. All that information had been circulating by the time y'all was hanging out, making diss songs. Y'all just barely made a diss song not that long ago, right? To the North Angels and all that. Which, these North Angels are eight hours away. If the problem is that big, then go deal with it. If not, why? Are, that'd be like me saying, uh, if everybody in uh, New York, everybody in New York, why? I don't know. Like they so far away, you got your own enemies to be worrying about. You got people trying to kill you, as you know what I'm saying. But you too worried about what they? Come on, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? And then the thing about the Northanios is that I ain't gonna lie. They they dumb respect. They not. <clears throat> they keep it real tight, stitched lip. They even went bands from the roses on her. He was asking, about, he didn't even like. He was like, I wouldn't do the song, but I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't handle it that way. Or blase, blase, whatever he said. Like, I feel like they just a little bit more tighter than Southsiders. Like me, I'm older gentleman. The Southsiders that were coming up around the time I was coming up, they were like very like, very like quiet. Didn't talk too much about nothing. Didn't, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't wet wave gun. Like, so you don't need to do that. You already know if he got, if I got a gun, why do I want to show it? I'm no, I'm a felon. I'm no, I'm not supposed to have it. You know what I'm saying? You got federal informant G face next to you. I'm surprised you didn't get a case from that. Keep it real with you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a lot of things. And then, according, and according to all these essays that was on YouTube, you was in some bad graces with a lot of people, with the exception of the guy Cheeto Runners. Now y'all not cool. Overall, overall of your performance, Swifty Blue, I'm really not impressed. And this diss, song, this diss, the line in here, now he's just, he's a federal giving information. He been that. He been that. There was already allegations about that a long time ago. A long time ago. There was already allegations on that a long time ago. I posted some stuff about it, I want to say like a year and a half ago or something like that. So, that was already out there. You get what I'm saying? Don't jump on it just because everybody else... No. Uh, overall, I'm not impressed with Swifty Blue. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it just all his... Uh, every Just all his everything, man. Everything. And then you got the drink thrown on. You just, it's always a, you act so tough. And then now it's like everybody's, all these circumstances and situations are happening to you where you're looking dumb. And people are just not taking you serious. That's my opinion. Anyway, you let me know yours, man. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys hear the song? Uh, it's nothing special, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate y'all watching. Please hit that subscribe and that like button. Salute. Y'all have a great afternoon. I'm gone.